two, three, swing. Hi, Tama. I'm Dominic, and welcome back to Philly Swiss. Today, I will be sharing with you what it's like to be at the Dessert Museum in the Philippines. This was a trip that Hubby and I took in the Philippines in May, and this was actually just for a short two-week holiday, and this just happened to be there after eating at Red Lobster. So with luck, it was a nice chance to be able to roam around and uh, have a nice tour. So the concept of the Dessert Museum, I believe, uh, it's not that it's an actual museum, it really is like a stage for, let's say, Instagrammers to uh, find a photo opportunity and um, there are some fun facts about the featured desserts depending on the room. You may need to look at like walls or lockers in order to find this information and to actually read and learn more about them, but there are probably in total eight or nine rooms if i'm not mistaken there's like one for donuts marshmallows candy canes ice cream bubble gum bananas gummy bears cotton candy and cakes so my favorite was the marshmallow because as soon as i exited that donut room i was like entering some kind of marshmallow wonderland I don't know, it was just pretty cool the way it was like, oh my god, I can enter such a nice place. It's like a playground, um, but it is the highlight of the museum. It's very picturesque and uh, you do get treats in every room and usually you will have to actually show them and they will, I don't know, it's like scanning this um, wristband that you get uh, at the beginning when you pay your entrance fee and um, it's hard not to leave the museum without taking a picture and for us we took loads of pictures and clips so without further ado let's get on with the video here is the donuts room which has a slide that you can use to enter if you're fun and feeling giddy otherwise you can be dull and boring and just use the stairs next to it this is probably the room where I've seen most pictures of in my feed, but I don't know what the hype was about since the next room calls out to me more. Behold, Marshmallow Land, where all your marshmallowy dreams come true. Big or small, these fake mallows look so cute, they make me want to just pick them off now. Like I said earlier, the walls have the information about the treat itself. So if you're really interested and keen, then don't forget to read about it when you go. Otherwise, you can move on to the treat itself and you will need to present your wristband for the staff to scan. Their costumes are so cute, I wanted to take one home. I don't think I've ever had as many gumballs as this corner over here, but the presentation makes me very curious to try. Candy canes all around, but not as exciting as the macaron and tea party. If you have a sweet tooth, this may be heaven for you. In this room, they also make the cotton candy upon request. And it does turn out quite big, so we had wished that we'd only asked for one instead to share. So if you're not such a big fan of huge cotton candies, then you might want to share it with someone if possible. So now we're entering the banana room and don't be fooled if you decide that you're going to jump straight into this huge pit of bananas, it's not going to be soft. In this next room, you'll find the gummy bears and this big 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 plastic like ball where you can go inside and all of these balloons just start floating around flying around whatever floats your boat and all you have to do is just go inside and have some balloon fun i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos Ade.